Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Owen Joy, and I'm a civil engineer working for Syac Construction Limited. Uh, Syac Construction is one of the oldest construction companies uh, in Ireland, having been incorporated in June 1913. We're therefore celebrating our first 100 years in the Irish constru construction industry this year. During that time, SIAC has become a leader in the civils market in Ireland, with experience ranging from the most technically complex structures to projects in the roads, water, environment, environmental, uh, marine and energy sectors. The SIAC Group, via SIAC Butler Steel Limited, operates Ireland's largest and most modern structural steel fabrication facility based in Port Arlington, County Leash and is long established employer in the Midlands region. We have successfully delivered projects for all of the public sector and many private sector clients in Ireland over the years and are well placed to comment on the energy bridge project viewed as a construction project. When mainstream renewable power invited SIAC to participate in the conference, we were happy to accept having been involved in various um, wind energy projects in Ireland and indeed abroad over the past few years. There's just a few of the projects we have been involved in. We believe that renewable energy is important now and will continue to become more important into the future. So I'd like to just get on to the energy bridge project uh, viewed as a construction project. So while the energy bridge project is primarily a, re a renewable energy project, in order to deliver the energy bridge, it will be necessary to, to draw on the expertise from various engineering and construction disciplines. Thankfully, uh, most of the background work will have been done by the time somebody like Syek gets involved, uh, and we'll be picking up from where uh, Paul and Dermot have left off. Uh, but again, th the aspects that go into the construction of one of these projects would be civil engineering design, mechanical and electrical design, civil engineering construction works, on-site electrical infrastructure uh, development, off-site electrical transmission infrastructure development, component manufacture, component transportation, erection and assembly of the components on-site, and finally, I suppose, the commissioning and testing of the completed uh, works. In order to grasp the supply chain opportunities that a project of this nature presents, it's important to try to get a, an understanding um, of the scale of what is happening. I'm going to look at the civil engineering construction portion of the project for the next few minutes. When we start to look at constructing an onshore wind farm, the first major issues that we need to address are access and foundations. The access includes site access roads and crane hard stands for turbine erection and future maintenance. The estimate for this project is that up to 500 kilometres of access roads will be necessary. We've calculated that the roads will consume up to 2 million tonnes of quarry products not forgetting that geotextiles and geogrids would be required for the reinforcement of those roads. A drainage network, similarly up to 500 kilometres, would be required. Culverts and bridges will inevitably require, be required to cross streams and, and rivers. Signage, of course, would be very important in a, in a ne network that size. Fencing, gates, and probably many other things that I've just not got time to mention. We estimate that the construction of the roads uh, will amount to about 300,000 labour and plant hours. The crane hard stands, viewed separately, will consume a further approximately 1 million tonnes of quarry product. All the, all the associated ancillary works like drainage and fencing will be associated with that as well. And we estimate that the crane hard standings similarly will take about 300,000 labour and plant hours. That's in addition to the roads. 
These would be the type of figures that we would normally associate with large-scale uh, motorway projects. So, you know, just to give you an idea of, of what we're talking about. Uh, the next main major item from a civil engineering point of view would be the foundation and concrete works. And again, the information provided is that about 725,000 cubic meters of concrete will be required to complete the energy bridge project. To put that into perspective, for those of you that may not be familiar with Croke Park, it is an 82,000 seater sports stadium in Dublin. And if you think of Croke Park as a kind of giant bowl, 725,000 cubic meters of concrete is just about enough to fill Croke Park to the top. From our experience, it requires about two weeks of con continuous work to construct a wind turbine foundation from start to finish. On that basis, we estimate a labour and plant requirement of about 900,000 hours for this element of the work. <clears throat> the steel project associated with the energy bridge is similarly impressive in scale. The information provided estimates a requirement for about 650,000 tonnes of steel. Many of you would have heard of the QE2 passenger liner, which has an official displacement of about 50,000 tonnes. So the energy bridge viewed as a steel fabrication project would require the construction of 13 QE2 ships. There are other aspects, of course, to the project as well, cable trenching, electrical substations, etc., etc., etc. There simply just isn't enough time to get into each and every one of those aspects in detail. But I think it is important to point out that a project of this size uh, in any area presents uh, a huge opportunity to many non-construction related businesses also. For example, um, <clears throat> site services would include things like security, contract cleaning, contract catering and office supplies. Of course the workforce required to execute a project of this size will require accommodation in the area if they're not already from the area. Restaurants, bars and shops will also benefit from the influx of construction work, workers. So I hope I've given you some insight into the scale of this project and I thank you for your attention.